Hi, this is Eddie Floyd. We're back from a break right now. 99.1 FM Talk, Fox News Radio here in northern Nevada. And if you just tuned in with me is our co-host, Steve Ossie from Incline Village. And we'll tell you how to get a hold of him, especially if you need some help with your finances. But we've been talking about Obamacare, Bill, and also some of the things that's been taking place. You know, Steve, you made some unbelievable comments uh, early in the show about the Obamacare bill. Can you back them up statistically? Well, I can. I was studying Rasmussen this weekend. But, you know, Eddie, on the way into the studio today, I passed a well, I passed a fortune teller. Why don't we do a remote over there and ask her uh, about these issues? I think they're already doing that in Congress, right? Isn't that how they get most of their information? Fortune tellers? Fortune cookies? I don't know, Steve, but you, might be right. you hit the nail on the head. What about the Rasmussen report? Yeah, uh, during that uh, or in that report, 75% of people say they want to change. Now, only 18% of the people want it left alone. 20% want the bill repealed and nothing to replace it. So 20% of people want to go back to the way it used to be. 28% want to repeal and start with a new bill. And 27% want, want to take the most unpopular provisions out of that health care bill. So uh, we're in line with the American public in what we're talking about here. My preference is a new bill. Start with a clean slate, have everyone in Congress read it this time, a complete transparency, uh, post it to the Internet ahead of time so the public can see what we're, we're doing, uh, have no pork, and uh, do this thing the right way. You know, you brought it up again. Listeners, no pork. Steve, so many politicians, like we said earlier in the show, so many ran on the platform that, hey, you you elect me or keep me in office, and I'll see to it that we do away with earmarking. And we do. It didn't even last a week before they started doing it again. I just think that we have to realize that yes, some things might be good for Nevada, but the reality is we're still stealing from the American people with earmarks. I think so too. Uh, Boehner said when he got into office that uh, if uh, he told his constituents constituents, if you're electing me to go to the public trough in Washington to bring back money, you're voting for the wrong guy. You know, uh, there's so many things in these bills, uh, uh, things like the biggest ball of twine uh, museum. I, I just think that's crazy. And, and if those things need to be built, let them build, be built in the states by their own money. Let's don't send it to the feds first, have them skim off the top some of the money and then send it back, put strings on it. That's right. And uh, I think it has to be changed. Uh, I think the American people, Stephen, you gave the statistics. American people are sick to death of either side of the aisle promising one thing and getting to Capitol Hill and doing another. That is where the people, and I think that's how we wound up with a Tea Party in the first place. You know, and by the way, uh, you're talking to somebody who thinks the Tea Party, although I'm not a member of the Tea Party, I think it was a good movement for America. I think that both sides kind of woke up. 